Hello, this is the next video in a playlist I'm calling Parameter Estimation. And here we're going to look at a method of moments estimation. And it's actually a special case for empirical substitution. Now, for some of this, you'll need uh, to know Riemann Stilts notation for integration. And I have a video called Riemann Stilts Integration for Statisticians that would be helpful to watch prior to this video. Now, let's let x be distributed with f. Uh, where theta is in the parameter space omega and f be the density or probably mass function with theta potentially being vector valued. Now let m1 of theta all the way up to mk of theta be the first k moments of f. Now you might ask why do we do k and, and the reason is there's k unknowns so we need to create k equations for k unknowns in order to solve it. Now, the first moment, population moment, is defined as this, the expected value of x raised to the j. And that can really be thought of as a, a function of the unknown parameters. And, the, and this j just means it's the j uh, moment. Now, in Riemann-Stilts notation, it could be written like this as far as integration goes. And this here, so the x is the dummy variable for this integration. It could be t or y or w. The unknown is f. So really, this is a function of the CDF. So uh, the first or the jth moment is a function of the CDF. Now that plays a part in what's called empirical substitution, which we'll, we'll get to briefly. Now let M1 hat all the way up to MK hat be the first K sample moments. So that is MJ hat is 1 over N, sum of the XI raised to the Jth power. And in Riemann Stilts notation, it's this, where F of N of X is the sample CDF or the empirical CDF. And this is a function of that empirical CDF. So it's actually the same function. But here we plug in the population CDF, and here we plug in the sample CDF. And again, that's going to play a part in empirical substitution. Uh, F is the sample uh, CDF defined like this. It, it counts the number of uh, in our sample less than that x value. So the method of moments estimate for theta is this. Set the sample and population moments equal to each other and solve for theta and solve for the thetas, assuming the solution exists. Sometimes it doesn't exist. Now, what that means, take the, the sample moment, set it equal to the population moment, which remember this is a function of the thetas. Do that k times because there's k equations, k unknowns, and then you solve for the thetas, and that's your method of moments estimate. And it's really that simple, and that's the one of the beauties of, of method of moments is the simplicity behind it. Now, another way to think about this is to create a continuous function of the population moments, and then we estimate this function. Okay, so here's a quick example. So let's let q of theta be the variance of x, which is a function of the, the moments. Here's the second moment minus the first moment squared. This is the variance. So Q is a function of the population moments. Now we estimate Q with um, just plugging in the sample moments. And so then we would put the sample moments there. And this is also another form of method of moments estimation. Um, empirical substitution deals with taking the function that's a, you know, well, let me rephrase that. This is the first moment of the population, and it's a function of the CDF. And we take that same function, and we set it equal to the same function, but we plug in the empirical CDF. So this is the first moment. And we do that for the kth. So this is the kth moment, but it's a function of the CDF. We set it equal to the kth, or we plug in the, the sample CDF and set them equal, and then we back solve for the, the parameters, and this is a method of, of empirical substitution. Okay, so from Wikipedia, that's where I, this example came from, 
is uh, let x be uniform on the closed interval a to b. So our parameter is theta is a b. It's a uh, two component vector. So the first moment of x is this and we set it equal to the sample moment which is this. The second moment now why do we need two? Well there's two parameters here. The second moment is this so we go in and derive that set it equal to the second moment, second sample moment, which of course is this, and then from from here you back solve for A and B and you would get this, but then you have to plug in the sample moments and then A and B, the, the, these are the, the uh, method of moments estimates for A and B. Now remember in, in situation two you could have also thought about it like this, that, that we created a function of the population moments to be this. Then we estimate this function by plugging in the sample moments. So when we plug in the sample moments, we get this back. So both ways to think about it is, is equivalent. And we, of course, we could have created another function of the uh, population moments and then we estimate it by plugging in, we use the same function, but plug in the sample moments. And of course that's what would have generated this. So it's just kind of two different ways to think about it, but they're identical. Now, let's let x1 and x2 be IID from this population, or this density. Now the first moment, now there, notice there's only one parameter here. So the expected value is we, we take x times the density, integrate it over all possible values, solve and we get one-third theta. Now what we do is we set the sample moment equal to the population moment. We solve for theta and we would get theta hat or the, the method of moments estimate for theta is three times the mean. But in this case, since we only took a sample of size 2, that's x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Well, I have a playlist called Mean Variance Moments Mode of Distributions where I go and calculate different estimates, you know, the mean, the variance, etc. And I have two videos where I calculate the method of moments for the beta distribution and an inverse gamma if you want more examples. And I'll probably add example, more examples to this playlist as we go. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.